My name is Sam and I'm developing this window manager for my from scratch operating system. Most recently I've been working on improving the rendering speed and I've been doing so through both selective rendering, you know, we only render things that change from the previous frame as much as possible and dirty bits so that applications can mark what changed or what regions of the screen changed from the previous frame. So, for example, here, this is just the saver program. This is, a, I have a different program to show later on, but we'll start with this one. This guy just has this box that's moving around on the screen. It draws the box every frame, and then it also has this text stuff. Okay, if I spawn two of these, you see that works the same. I've added a feature to the window manager where I can hold caps like I press F11. And this draws onto both frame buffers uh, that it's flipping between. It draws it in all red so we can see what is being drawn and updated when. And as you can see here, most of the stuff uh, stays the same. The top bar I have up there is being drawn every frame. Probably need to address that at some point. Um, but otherwise, we have essentially the the program, this this square program, is marking with the dirty bits um, when when uh, one part of the, its frame is changing. And if I switch to a different workspace and come back, you'll see everything will be the same. Same thing if I take if I start moving, you know, the selection of which window you can see that updates. If I change the position of these windows you know, obviously that's a refresh. Same thing if uh, I take one of these, say this guy and full screen it, then obviously that's going to be a change. But if I redo this red, you can see here, now we are just updating the bits that the application us is saying that is changed. So what, what we have is a, the, the buffer that gets drawn into by the application is one 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. And then I've split that into a region 16 by 16 grid, uh, where then you have a bit field where each bit marks a 64 by 64 pixel region, these squares you can see. And then of course, these, um, these we put these into a bit field, it's 256 bits. So four N64s, I call them, but you'd probably know them as U64s, unsigned 64-bit integers. So we have this program. Um, you know, the performance is a lot better. Uh, normally, you would run applications that aren't updating every frame. I can, um, in fact, crash these to make them stop rendering. And then you can see now we're doing about one millisecond per frame in full screen 900. I think the difference there is me drawing the top bars up here. So, um, yeah, you can, well, it works as you would have, uh, you would expect. Not that crazy. Now, let's switch gears. There's a more interesting program, which I'm not finished with yet. But I obviously have to redo the shell in this graphical window managed environment. So I've been doing text rendering. And so this text rendering is interesting in that if I uh, do the um, red here, we're updating the FPS or the frame time number up there in the corner, but otherwise frame to frame, nothing is changing. And then if I move the text, you can see that we uh, mark the dirty bits where we've actually drawn new characters. So the way this works is there's, uh, you know, written assembly that goes through and compares uh, what characters are currently drawn, what characters do we actually want to be drawn, and then it, it deltas those and draws only the things uh, that are different, which means that if I full screen this, when we move up like this, um, we get 
Oh, shoot. I crashed it. Hold up. This guy. Um, if I move down, you see we get this um, this middle band where there are no pixels that changed. Anyway, the uh, performance on this is not final. You can see that this guy is still a bit slow. Um, we do maybe 23 microseconds or 23 milliseconds and then 3 milliseconds here. Uh, so the latency on this isn't great. Uh, I need to bring this down further. Didn't have time to simdify everything just yet. But performance should be getting much better. And then the goal is to have, so I need to set up the shell so I can like do shell things as you would in a normal Linux environment. I need to get the editor going so that uh, we can have that. There already is a shell and editor on the platform in the old shell that where everything runs an exclusive full screen. And um, even that works, it works so well, in fact, that I can write this window manager and these programs exclusively on Serena. But the goal is to have a window managed experience because that's going to be a lot nicer and a lot more productive. Uh, so if you want to get access to this system, you can do so at taberna.shop. You can also read more about it at samhsmith.com slash serena. And with that, I will see you in the next update video.